In the early 1990s, Russia developed the BTR-90, a military vehicle that boasted enhanced features compared to its predecessor, the BTR-80. The BTR-90 exhibited improved armament, enhanced protection, greater mobility, and increased internal space. Regrettably, despite these advancements, it never entered active service, likely due to financial constraints. Russia ceased procurement of the older BTR-80 APCs around 2010. At present, an upgraded version known as the BTR-82 is being acquired temporarily while awaiting the availability of a new vehicle. In 2011, the Russian Ministry of Defense MOD, issued a requirement for a modular family of armored vehicles, leading to the inception of the Bumerang project. This initiative aimed to create a range of vehicles, with the baseline being a well-protected armored personnel carrier. The project remained shrouded in secrecy, developed alongside the new generation Kurganet's tracked armored vehicle family. The improved APC was unveiled to Russian military officials in 2013 and subsequently delivered for trials in 2013, with public revelation occurring in 2015. By 2015, a limited number of pre-production Bumerang APCs were supplied to the Russian Armed Forces, although as of 2017, manufacturer testing was still underway. Originally slated for official military trials in 2018, these tests revealed the need for enhancements to the vehicle's amphibious capabilities, resulting in a redesigned hull. However, consistent delays in series production persisted due to financial constraints and technical challenges. As of 2023, full-scale production of the new Russian APC might commence within the next few years. Since 2020, the armored vehicle has been considered for potential export, yet as of 2022, it remains unreleased for active service or widespread production. The new generation Bumerang APC was envisioned to replace an array of aging Russian armored vehicles, with a projected requirement for over 2,000 new wheeled armored vehicles. The Bumerang was designed from scratch, deviating from any prior Russian armored vehicle design, bearing resemblance to Western counterparts. Notably, various components and subsystems were interchangeable with the Kurganet's tracked armored vehicle family. Positioned at the front of the hull, the Bumerang's engine layout addressed the drawback of previous BTR series APCs with rear-mounted engines, which necessitated troops to exit from side doors. The new vehicle allows troops to embark and disembark through a rear power-operated ramp with integral doors. The APC accommodates a crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver. Initial prototypes could carry nine soldiers, with an improved version capable of carrying eight, all benefiting from the spacious hull. Unlike earlier designs, firing ports were omitted to preserve armor integrity. With modular armor and a welded hull and turret, the Bumerang's protection level could be tailored based on mission requirements. Its V-shaped hull design deflects mine blasts and provides all-round protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Additionally, it features NBC protection, automatic fire suppression systems, and can be equipped with an active protection system. The vehicle retains amphibious capabilities despite its 6,300kg payload capacity, which can increase to 10,700kg if amphibious ability is sacrificed. It uses unmanned turrets shared with the Kurganets APC and IFV, with one version mounting a 12.7mm machine gun and another boasting a 30mm cannon, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and external launchers for Cornet M anti-tank guided missiles. Powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, the Bumerang's engine selection evolved, ultimately favoring the YMZ 780 diesel engine with 750 horsepower. The vehicle employs a six-speed automatic gearbox and features an 8x8 configuration with all-wheel drive. It is fully amphibious, propelled by water jets. Expanding the Bumerang family, other variants include an armored ambulance, command post vehicle, reconnaissance vehicle, anti-tank missile carrier, air defense missile launcher, fire support vehicle, and mortar carrier. These vehicles are intended to equip rapid deployment brigades, 
akin to the concept of U.S. striker brigades. In 2021, an improved Bumerang version emerged, featuring a slightly larger hull, add-on armor and flotation kits, optimized buoyancy, revised passenger seating, and relocated driver's hatch for armor preservation. This upgraded iteration maintains amphibious capabilities despite the added armor.